Hi! This video will walk you through the new features added to Unravel Data in version 4.7.5.0. With this release, we have added the following new features. Let's have a quick look at them. With this release, you can use the Cost360 feature to monitor, understand, and optimize your spending for your EMR workload on AWS. A new cost menu has been added to the Unravel UI. From the cost page, you can observe the trend data for EMR clusters to identify cost anomalies. Drill down to find out who or what contributes to the anomalies and observe chargeback for various metrics of EMR. Create a budget to actively monitor costs against user-defined budgets and observe warnings if cost is trending to exceed the budget. Let's move on to the Advanced EMR Clusters page where you can monitor the EMR cluster and cost data. In this release, we have enhanced the Clusters page to quickly visualize, debug, and troubleshoot issues at the cluster and application levels. For the expensive clusters that highlight as expensive on the cost page, you can navigate to this clusters page and drill down to the cluster details page. In addition, you can view insights, recommendations, and estimated savings for each cluster. From the performance tab, you can view the resources efficiency and group by the performance details for resource utilization and job counts based on each application type, user, queue, and state. From the Resource Chargeback tab, you can view the chargeback details of the resources used in EMR clusters. Further, you can view trend charts of the resource chargeback based on application types, user, queue. Here's a much-awaited feature, the support of BigQuery general availability in Unravel. For the GCP BigQuery platform, you can now set up Unravel to automatically create and configure multiple service accounts and resources. In this release, you can now add up to 100 BigQuery projects at a time for Unravel monitoring. View cost per job for the BigQuery-enabled cluster. View the parent query and cached queries separately. Now, let's talk about enhancements provided for Databricks. The first enhancement is related to the data page. When scheduling a job to extract metadata from Databricks, you can now specify multiple database names in a comma-separated value. Specify all database names using the AllDB parameter. Extract up to 25,000 Delta Tables metadata in a single job. In terms of security, you can now encrypt passwords and tokens. We now support custom pricing for workload and tier combinations for Databricks. The workload can be different cluster types, such as all-purpose, jobs compute, and light compute. The tier can be standard, premium, or enterprise. Using this feature, you can specify custom pricing information. Additionally, we have provided the following improvements. Introduced the Anomaly Detection APIs to detect anomalies and metrics. Refactored the Pipeline Workflow APIs from the UI layer to the Data Store layer. Provided TLS SSL support on Azure Database for MySQL or any other cloud-managed databases for Unravel. Support to pass part of the certificate trust chain when you configure TLS with the manager config TLS set command. Provided support to configure the maximum memory for all Unravel daemons. Unravel now supports AWX Linux OS for the Amazon EMR platform. These are the highlights of version 4.7.5.0. For a more extensive list of new features and their documentation, visit our documentation website at docs.unraveldata.com. Thanks for watching.